what was it about that guy? He was incredibly charming. Intellectual, progressive. They would occasionally come running into the Oval Office. Ahead of the 60th anniversary of President John F. Kennedy's assassination, the History Channel presents the eight-part docuseries, Kennedy. The series explores the complexities of his power, leadership, and public perception. And JFK continues to inspire politicians of a new generation. Here to talk more about this new series is the director, Ashton Gleckman. Ashton, so good to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. All right, you wrote, directed Kennedy. Uh, what inspired you to tackle this story, this topic, and find something that we didn't know about? So from a very young age, I've, I've been obsessed with history, in particular American history. I think it's a fascinating subject, and it teaches us a lot about where we are right now and where we're going. And it was during the pandemic, and every time I turned on you know, the news, it was a lot of sad things happening all the time. And so I wanted to tell a story that had a sense of hope and a sense of sort of ambition and this, mm. this amazing American story that John F. Kennedy was born in 1917 and he lives through 63, 46 years, but an amazing life where he accomplished so much and really helped to define a whole generation. So that was the goal for me is to try to really dig into his personal perspective and follow it really closely. And I tried to do it from a young sort of modern uh, right. perspective. Sure. And, uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, well, he certainly, the JFK, the whole Kennedy family, I mean, continues to rivet the nation's stories about him, inspiring so many. What can people expect from this eight-part docuseries? Well, one of the things I tried to do is interview as many people as I could from so many different perspectives. So I, I didn't only interview biographers, but also people that were on the ground during the Bay of Pigs invasion, people that were on the ground during the civil rights demonstrations in Birmingham. And I also interviewed um, Cold War historians and Kennedy family members and politicians that were influenced by Kennedy. So I really tried to like dig in and, and show as many perspectives so that audiences and viewers can really see the story um, through many different windows. So that was a lot of fun. I traveled around the country basically in a, in a car <laughs> with two other people and filmed all the interviews. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh wow. Together. Well, it's incredible because you're only 23 years old. You know, you are so accomplished in your short life as well. Um, but you talked about telling it from the younger person's perspective. Why, in your opinion, is John F. Kennedy that person that young people really need to continue to, to learn about and, and know from? So John F. Kennedy spent more than half of his life, interestingly, in public service, whether it was in the war, his 14 years in Congress, and then also the presidency. And of course, that famous inaugural address where he says, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. There is this sense of public service in his life that I think all of us can learn from in our own ways, in terms of giving back to our communities, giving mm -hmm. back to the people around us. And I think he was someone that understood that. He came from a place of privilege, but at the same time, spent a lot of his life giving back in a way. Yeah. Yeah. And so I hope the young people walk away just with the sense of what we can all do. And Kennedy said, you know, every man can make a difference and everyone can try. So we really all have that potential. Yeah, that's amazing. Ashton, through all of your research and interviews, was there something you learned that you did not know before that's really interesting that you could share? I think the biggest thing was John Kennedy's health problems were such mm -hmm. a huge part of his life. From the time he was very young, he died, he almost died three times and was given his last rites. Uh, you know, by a priest's bedside three times before his assassination in 63. Mm. Uh, he had back problems that plagued him throughout his whole life um, that began at Harvard when he was playing football and it became worse during the war. He was this, you know, tall, you know, relatively skinny, scrawny kid during the war and he came back super sick. Right. And at the same time, that never stopped him. He went out there it's on the amazing. campaign trail with a back brace yeah. and did it. Congratulations, amazing. Ashton. Thank you for bringing this new perspective to, uh, to us so everybody can watch it. Be sure to check out the Kennedy docuseries, which premieres Saturday on the History Channel.